Hello Parade Watchers, and welcome to a new history video. Today we are going to take a look at an artwork that loves to read. That character became an American icon and a Macy's Parade Balloon favorite. That is Arthur, for his appearances as a giant balloon in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. 1997 marked the parade debut of Arthur, with Little Brown Publishing Company as his sponsor. The design shows him waving to the crowd while walking down the parade route. However, the weather was heavy wind, which managed to deflate some balloons while they were heading their way to Herald Square. But I'm not going to tell them to you because Bry Crowell already said them in any balloons that made appearances in the 1997 parade. But at the parade's starting line, Arthur's right arm, if I'm correct, was deflated, then his ear. But he managed to go through the entire parade ground safe and sound. Hey Willard, it's a wonderful kind of day. More than 18 million readers know and love Arthur, including my little girls, Ellie and Carrie. I hope you're watching. Mark Brown created our lovable aardvark, the first of four new giant balloons this year. He's all about the challenges of childhood. He's Big Willard, 68 feet tall. We figure that's the combined height of about 17 of his third grade buddies. I was that way when I was in school. The biggest sneak was that's the building. And how about those sneakers? They're bigger than Shock and Michael Jordan standing end to end. Arthur's furnished by Little Brown, Children's Publishing, and has his own animated series on PBS. Publishing. Willard, can you guess his favorite food? Uh, no, but I can see it right here on the script. It's all over the pages. Cheeseburger, chocolate cake, pizza, which explains why it took fabric that length of eight football fields just to create Arthur. We'll be back with more right after this. Big Bird, when the feast continues, live here on NBC. He would continue the following year in 1998, and that was the year when they had the new rules for the giant balloons for the people at Macy's and New York City. Despite the balloons on their size limits, the expansion of the handlers and pilots, and how two utility vehicles help control the balloons, these were added after an accident occurred with an oversized balloon from the previous year from high winds. And, and Arthur was one of the balloons that got to stay in the parade. But, like the previous year, the weather was heavy winds but lots of rain, which managed to deflate four balloons before even starting the parade. Two of them being Garfield and Wild Thing. As for our aardvark, he was lowered to the ground to battle the high winds and managed to go through the entire parade route like the previous year, safe and sound. 18 million readers know that, hey, it's a wonderful kind of day now that Arthur, that academic aardvark, makes his second march down Broadway. It's a wonderful show on PBS, and the Arthur balloon is furnished by Little Brown Children publishing company. There you see him, Matt. Katie, at 32 feet wide, Arthur can't even fit through the New York Public Library doors. They have to bring books out to him. And by the way, speaking of books, more than 450 books can fit into that cool red knapsack he's wearing. He's going to be very busy doing some serious reading. He's actually half as high as that amazing New York landmark, the Public Library. Arthur is all about the challenges of childhood, about looking and feeling different, and about learning self-respect and respect for others. Let's go to the tail of the tape. His favorite foods, cheeseburgers, pizza, and chocolate cake. But he keeps a check on that 62-foot waist by playing his favorite sport, which is soccer. And it took fabric the length of eight soccer fields to create our roly-poly version of this aardvark. Personally, I'm a big fan of his sister, D.W. Meanwhile, as Arthur rounds 34th Street, we're reminded that next spring, Macy's front door will be a spruced-up park with more trees and flowers and benches, thanks to a $30 million gift to the city from the 34th Street Partnership. A new Herald Square, the same grand old landmark. The Peter Rabbit Balloon, a number from Disney's A Bug's Life, plus the Pointer Sisters. The spectacle goes on live here on NBC. 
Despite battling for the wins for the past two years, Arthur managed to stand tall in 1999, and the sponsor was changed to Eden Toys. Now back on Broadway, he's killing me. Waving to the crowd is a character who gives 18 million readers and a ton of PBS fans something to cheer about. Having a wonderful kind of day is that adorable aardvark Arthur, furnished by Eden Toys. Arthur's all about childhood challenges like sibling rivalry and making new friends. He's big, Katie, taller than the combined height of 17 of his third grade buddies. We're told real art barks chow down on termites and ants, but Arthur prefers pancakes, pizza, cheeseburger, and chocolate cake, and he has the waist to prove it. Size 62. We're talking feet. And Matt, while we're talking feet, check out those sneaks. Each one's the size of two taxi cabs. That international man. His sponsor was changed in 2000 to Random House Children's Media Group and to promote his animated holiday Christmas special, Arthur's Perfect Christmas. And hey, it's a wonderful kind of day. Well, it is for this next guy, America's favorite aardvark, Arthur. Waves to the crowd on his fourth jaunt down Broadway. This is a big day for Arthur Katie, his first ever holiday special airs on PBS. It's called Arthur's Perfect Christmas. Well, you know, he must have a high Q rating, as they say in the biz. The kids who watch his PBS series and read his books send Arthur 100,000 letters every year. And that backpack could sure hold him. It has a volume of 2,200 cubic feet. Our lovable bookworm is furnished by Random House Children's Media Group. I don't want to be ra ra rude, Katie, but it looks like <laughs> Arthur forgot to lay off the pizza and the chocolate cake his waist is hanging in at 62 feet in fact it took fabric the length of eight soccer fields to create our roly-poly art bar and by the way his feet aren't so petite either arthur would have to hop on 21 razor scooters to ride to soccer practice katie one thing you don't want to and in the 75th anniversary parade in 2001 not only his sponsor was changed for the third time, and it was changed to the learning company. But also, he was there to celebrate his 25th anniversary. A quarter of a century ago, author and illustrator Mark Brown created a bedtime story for his own son about an aardvark who loves to read. That character became an American icon and a Macy's Parade big balloon favorite. Now celebrating his 25th birthday, it's Arthur, furnished by the Learning Company. And it's a wonderful kind of day for that lovable aardvark, Matt. His holiday special, Arthur's Perfect Christmas, airs on PBS. Every day is a big one on his series. He faces the challenges of childhood, like making friends and feeling different. It's a tall order for a third grader. But Arthur can handle it. Overall, balloon Arthur is the size of three putting greens. And when it comes to self-respect and also respect for others, Arthur is up to par every time. Love After the 2001 parade, he was retired until he came back one last year in 2003. But his author and illustrator and creator, Mark Brown, was his sponsor. Wonderful kind of day, spending it with America's favorite aardvark. Arthur, furnished by author and illustrator Mark Brown. Arthur's all about the challenges of childhood, like looking different and making friends, about self-respect and respect for others. Okay, real aardvarks eat termites, but Arthur's into cheeseburgers, pizza, and chocolate cake. It would take 21 belts from Matt's closet to hold up Arthur's pants, and I bet he has more than 21 in his closet. You're picking on me today, I can <laughs> tell. All in all, it took fabric the length of eight football fields to create balloon Arthur. Scores another touchdown today in his sixth Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Okay, getting gear as Hess showcases its classic. After the 2003 parade, he was officially retired, making a total of six appearances. 
and probably have the record for the most sponsors with a total of five. It was nice looking at a good school kid, but next time we're going to look at a transforming machine that's not a transformer. Yep, next video I'll be talking about Jet from Super Wings. And like the words of the song, everything's a wonderful kind of day.